the United States is experiencing an armored invasion. Well, okay, more of a range expansion. And I'm not talking about tanks, but the cool armored mammal known as the nine-banded armadillo, Dazapis novum synctus. I'm Anthony with Backyard Ecology, and today I'm going to tell you about the rapid northward expansion of the nine-banded armadillo into the United States. The nine-banded armadillo originated in South America and was not found in the United States prior to 1850. This was probably due to three main reasons. Lack of suitable habitat, heavy hunting pressure by indigenous peoples, and the Rio Grande River. As Texas was settled, the fires that kept much of it in a grassland state were abated and a more scrub brush type vegetative community became more common. Just the type of stuff nine banded armadillos prefer. Hunting pressure by indigenous people was greatly reduced and ferry boats and bridges were installed along the river. Although armadillos are capable swimmers, they much prefer to walk to their destination. Any armadillos crossing the Rio Grande, either by stowing away on a barge, casually crossing a bridge, or channeling their inner Michael Phelps to swim the river, now found habitat to their liking. And so began their expansion into the United States. If you are enjoying the story of the northward expansion of the armadillo, make tracks to that like button and smash it like an armadillo digging up an anthill. By 1995, the nine-banded armadillo had increased its range northward to Missouri and east of Florida. Sometimes with a little help from man, both intentionally and accidentally, but for the most part, on its own. By 2010, it had reached Southern Illinois, Western Kentucky, all of Tennessee, and completely expanded into all of the Gulf Coast states, South Carolina, and into North Carolina. I can tell you from personal observation that the armadillo is well into Central Kentucky now. If you have seen an armadillo someplace you never thought you would, please comment below. The current rate of nine-banded armadillo range expansion is about 10 times that of what is commonly known for mammals. Which begs the question, why is that possible? There are many theories as to why this can be, but most of them center on the nine-banded armadillo's weird reproductive strategy. When a female armadillo gets bred and an egg is fertilized, it does not implant in her uterus and begin forming a fetus. Instead, it enters a resting stage called diapause in early embryonic development. It will remain in this state until the female finds a place or time with suitable resources to raise her young. Diapause can last up to 14 months in the nine-banded armadillo, so a female can travel quite a distance before she gives birth. The other odd thing about armadillo pregnancies is that the fertilized egg will divide and become identical quadruplets. So nine-banded armadillos almost always have four young all the same sex. A female giving birth to four daughters greatly increases the potential armadillo population growth in an area as a single male could account for up to 20 young armadillos in the next breeding cycle. It is easy to see how a new expansion population can grow quickly from just a few armadillos. So where will this range expansion stop? No one knows for sure, but the current theory is that where the January average temperature is below 28 degrees Fahrenheit, armadillos won't be able to survive. This corresponds with a diagonal line that runs roughly from Kansas City to the state of New York. Of course, there is another animal that colonized the United States after expanding from South America, and it was thought that critter would get stopped by cold weather too. That critter is the Virginia opossum, Didelphus virginiana, and it has now made its way into Canada. But that is a story for another video. If you would like to learn about another super cool weird critter, check out this video and get out and explore nature in your backyard.